Hey, here I am uh, taking, I just took it out of the freezer. This has been in here about a week and a half, haven't been painting. And uh, you can see all the frost around it and so on. <laughs> um, and uh, you can see the frost. Unclipping it and revealing the paint. It's all there waiting for me to paint. It'll be about, I'm going to put this aside. Okay, I'm going to throw this over here. Wait about 10 minutes, maybe 15. So, um, and I can start painting. We're going to begin painting. I did, uh, a few of my mixtures are mixed up. And uh, this was an old painting. I'm going to obliterate. We're going to ignore what's there. And I made some rough outline in a reddish orange orange or yellow orange uh excuse me yellow red <laughs> um throughout throughout the painting and so we're going to be um, doing some um, i'm mixing a little bit with turpentine i'm going to put on my fan so that um, of the vapors to make sure a little bit of ventilation here go on you can hear that in the background and uh, then to begin, I'm going to use uh, number eight. Flat. Looks like it's flat to me. And um, it's close to this, more of a yellow um, green right here. Uh, this is a little bit much too light, but. Um, I'm going to uh, darken it a little bit here. Use some of this. And okay.
All right, I had to stop the filming because um, batteries were, were exhausted. But besides that, um, I didn't know exactly what I was going to do with this house. So I reduced the size of the house considerably. Um, I wanted to bring some something a little bit more unusual to the house. I didn't want to make it... The, the barn and the house together is my focal point. So I uh, considered changing the um, the brick house which looks almost the same red, red as uh, the barn is, although faded and so on, um, to a yellow clad house. And um, that's my prerogative as an artist. Um, we have, this thing is actually longer proportionately, I think, than the actual. Uh, actually, I guess not, because <laughs> it keeps on going, that's for sure. Um, I didn't exactly know what I was going to do there, so. Um, I did add a little bit more lightish red as for, soil, for the soil and so on in here, and I'm going to develop this pattern of lights here probably get some lighter higher reads here so that with in conjunction with this light here we've got a circular pattern and a path to go um, this kind of stops it here then we come up here it goes here I have this vertical stop speed and we have this kind of pattern but yet you can get out if you need to as relief. So that's the kind of thinking that's going on here. There actually is some thinking to my, my madness. So what we're going to do now is to, um, using a number two, but yet I'm doing it in a kind of a random pattern. I'm taking, what I'm doing here, I'm taking red, mixing it to a lot of the gray, gray, I'm mixing up too much and I'm adding white to it. And I'm coming up with this pattern here. 
better add a little bit more light. Right in here, above the weeds and the reeds. Quick strokes up here kind of give the impression of um, these reeds. I like to have a more of an impressionistic um, here um, so that it kind of leads into the more higher more a little bit more detail in the focal area I'm doing this you always look at the the uh, the profile of whatever it is, piece of land and the pattern area or whatever. If you get the outside edges correct, it describes then to the viewer because they fill the rest in, you know, um, as to other things. And their imagination is better at bringing detail into it than you are bringing in detail to it. You have to be bold enough to just make these kind of strokes. And then go with it. Notice I'm using for this red and green mixture for gray. And um, Sometimes that works really good. I'm going to now take my my longer brown brush, number four, and I'm going to load it up with some of this mixture. I'm just I'm just going to kind of lay it lay a couple larger ones in here. Kind of hitting it and stroking back, making some of these weeds. Give that um, that grainish look to it. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more red now. And um, I'm going to stroke some of this in the background. A little bit more reddish.
It's a good idea to have a lot of different greens. Not the same green, even if it shows all the, pretty much the same green. You gotta change it up a little bit. I think we might want to add some different greens in here. Kind of warm it up a little bit in here. Um, it's closer to you. few darks. Adding a little bit of um, cerulean blue to this. I feel that this is more of a wall that I'm putting up here. We want to get rid of that. I'm going to a bigger brush right now. We're going to enter into this in some way. So I'm going to have to come up with something. I like to I kind of develop these ideas as I go. I have to enter this painting somehow. I don't know, I've, I have been in a lot of country and I see these kind of things like this. Could be a footpath, but it could be one of those roads entering into the... Um, in fact, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I just changed my mind. I believe what it is, is one of those... Um, yes, that's what it is. It's one of those um, tractor paths that they make going into a lot of these woods from the, the uh, adjoining uh, the adjoining um, what am I trying to say 
road, that uh, company that county roads and so on. That would mean that this is kind of a ditch, that could be a ditch. Let's put that in like that. It's always a little bit scuzzy down in this area. It's going to be the same thing down here. Yeah, okay, I like that. That works out. Um, that's the kind of thing I had to do to develop this around here because uh, I didn't like it. You know, no photo should be just copied. Um, you can always make it a little better. Your job is to make it a better scene. Your job is to make it better. Got, um, and I had a little bit of more yellow, yellow greens right in here because it's closer to us. Okay, so I'm looking at it and I'm wondering, well, what should be, is this a general gist of it? Yeah, I think it is. So now I think we can carry on with other things that's, that are important. Um, let's see. I'm kind of bluing it around here. Bluing all that. Better, uh, I'm going to add some. Uh, light to this area here. I think we should add a few accents. Whoa. Darker accents. Here and there. So let's do that. 
and go a little bit darker on this hole. Oh, I moved this door into the center. I did not get rid of the other door. <laughs> so, So the door is still off center. You don't want to make it a black hole. You want to feel like you can see inside of it. And uh, sometimes you can. <laughs> sometimes you can see through it. So I'm going to take a little bit of orange. And kind of give the impression that you can. It did not work out. So let's try it again. Maybe you can see there's a window out there. Just to see it through a little bit. But there's something there. Um, typically there are barn doors, I mean windows. Let's put a little one in there. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit darker here. So I really, really blew that up. I'm going to put a little bit more orange in here on the shadow side. Uh, low intensity mixed with uh, blue, of course. A couple of windows. Put that in as though um, there's something beyond it, fuel beyond it or something. And also there's that red, just... Okay, we're still adding... Um, we're adding some accents yet. Which are the darks? The darks.
doohickey like this. They're much warmer. I'm adding a little bit more warmth into this area here. So, we add a little bit of uh, darks along here. Because I darken that up, these are showing more. Add some um, accents here. darker dark right in here. I'm going to add some little windows. These are not very large windows because of the distance away. some variety along here. We have some um we add some highlights now. I'm gonna consider that the lights definitely coming down this way and so therefore there is a little bit of um, we're going to see a highlight there, so I'm going to put one there. We're going to see one up here. Not highlight, but I haven't put the dog on dome on yet, have I? Can't be on that side of the highlight, that's for sure. It appears like the sun. Is um, hitting pretty much this way. So we're going to see that along the whole thing. So you don't have to do a lot of development to this stuff. There's always a cage to these things where they have to climb up. Oops. 
these are kind of warm too. We're going to cool them off a little bit. Okay, so we're going to have some lights here, some um, cloud lights. So I'm going to go to a bigger brush now, and add some I'm adding a little bit of orange to this too. I think that there would be always some, uh, now this is bigger. Bigger formation right here. But, uh, so you kind of wonder is this a, um, is this a cloud painting or is it a, I'm doing this because I, I, it's appearing to be too much cloud painting, so I don't want it to be that. It's a farm painting, so I'm adding, I'm going to make sure the important thing is not, yeah, the, not the clouds, but rather the What bothers me is I don't have any ground color into those skies, and I'm going to put a little bit of green up there. Let's put some green up there, because the clouds, 
reflect some of the color that is in the landscape. a little bit of vibrancy up here that I don't know. Maybe I do want to loosen this up a little bit. It's a little bit taking too much attention away from the rest of it. I'm trying to accentuate a little bit of the clouds here and possibly a little bit right in here. I like to uh, do these clouds in such a way that it looks like there's many levels of distances. I'm trying to create this circular pattern here. Putting it on a little bit heavier right here. I'll work a little bit probably more on this, but essentially you can get the idea. 
of what we have here. So, um, what do we have here? Let's see. There are always, um, one can always uh, work more on it and refine it and so on, but there comes a time where you have to say, well, that's it now. I'm not going to do any more. So when does that happen? <laughs> you have to be the judge of that. Okay, and it's finished. Come back again. Tell me you like it and comment. Thank you. Bye.